Hello everyone, thank y'all for tuning in to the channel today. Larry and I are back out on the Tug Fork today. It's the first trip on the Tug since early spring and it is early fall now. So we're looking forward to getting out today. Hopefully we get into some smallmouth. But as always, thank you all for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. Larry with the skunk off. It's on this one right here. It's got the X on it. Baby bluegill. Nice one. Good, yeah. Good. Turn loose. <laughs> right at me. Spot. He'll grow up and be a nice fish one day. Another little one. No, a little tiny child rig. Decent one. You moving that fast? Yeah, on the, on the fluke. Another uh, another spot. It's late September on this float, and the water temperatures were dropping fast. So we took a minute to get out, stretch our legs, and fish the shoals. Since this was probably the last time we'd be able to do it this year, Larry ended up with a couple of nice smallies here, but unfortunately, we didn't get any video of it. Larry, another one on the flute. Coming in hot. I'll try to get around if I can't. I just put my chain down and come down through there. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, I watched him come out and get it right out of, out of that log. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get him out of here. Brad, I got a little one here. I got a little one. It's on that bass, the bluegill. About five. Little dinger. That baby bluegill, that bass colored one, the one with the X's on it. This spot on the river is always a good spot to get out, eat some lunch. It's about the halfway point of the float, but it's also a very dangerous spot on the river. And if you follow the friends of the Tug Facebook page, you've probably seen Pete Runyon's post about him and Mano Runyon's accident they had in this curve. There's a tree down in this curve, and it is, forms a strainer. If you're not familiar with what a strainer is, it's just like a strainer that you cook with. Uh, when you pour your food through it, all the water goes on through, but the food stays. So that's exactly what happened to Pete and Mano in this one. They were very lucky that they didn't lose their life here. But they, I'll post a picture here. They wrapped their crawdad around the tree, and, and they actually got stuck in it for a minute before they got their self out. So. The water here is really low on this float and you had to get out and drag through it but normally the water's a little higher and, and you can float through it but it's never a good idea because of the tree there. I think they have came back and removed some of the tree since the water was low with some uh, chainsaws but still dangerous. Always get out and drag your kayaks through this spot. Fighters today. Definitely fighters. I haven't caught a ton of numbers. I mean, a ton of uh, size fish, but I haven't caught a bunch of numbers. There he is. Man, they feel good. 
They're all about the same size, but they feel good. I've caught a bunch of fish this size today, Larry. Rigs. Well, and the fluke, and the fluke. Huh. Yeah, that was on the tiny child rig, dude. What I missed. There's another. Yeah, pretty good. It's about sixteen. 